I'm Mike Tolkien, and I'm a Democrat running for mayor of New York City. Homelessness in New York City has ballooned since Mayor de Blasio took office. Today, we have over 60,000 New Yorkers living in our city without a place of their own. Though it's a problem that's plagued every mayoral administration in recent history, our current crisis has reached a boiling point. Mayor de Blasio is correct that there's no easy solution, but that doesn't mean that there's none at all. To learn more about the nuances of our homelessness challenge, to better understand the psychology of those facing it, and to inform a comprehensive strategy to address it, I needed to experience it myself. So earlier this year, I went homeless. I spent months sleeping on the couches of relenting friends and acquaintances, and then I slept on the streets. I learned some hard truths. What we have is nothing short of a domestic refugee crisis. These are people with rich personal stories who often through no fault of their own have slipped through the cracks of our social support system struggling. Some are veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. Some have substance abuse issues. About a third suffer from some form of a mental illness left undiagnosed and untreated. 23,000 are children born into a life they didn't choose, and nearly all were simply dealt a bad hand, thrown into unfair circumstances that have prevented them from landing on their feet. As one homeless woman mentioned to me, it's like I'm invisible. Imagine having nowhere to go, nobody to turn to, and nothing to lean on. There's an invisible curtain cloaking our city, a stark division between the rich and the poor, the haves and the have-nots, and the gap is widening. Absent immediate and aggressive intervention, this problem could spiral even further out of control. We need a robust and sustainable housing plan, a set of programs, policies, and initiatives to rehabilitate and support our homeless population expand affordable options, and protect those at risk of displacement. First, we must rehabilitate and support our homeless population. We must create new rehabilitation centers with safe interim housing and end-to-end -end support, including mental health services, comprehensive physical care, child care, and parenting support, and vocational training and job placement programs. Second, we need to expand affordable options and protect those at risk of displacement. We need to immediately support people with new rent subsidy programs, as well as develop and expand community-based public housing campuses with hundreds of thousands of new affordable units for singles, couples, and families. We can also incentivize commercial to residential building conversions in the private sector, particularly as space sharing, automation, and virtual offices are driving down demand for physical office space. And last, we need to set the foundation to address the underlying and systemic causes. We must comprehensively address the root cause of our housing crisis, economic inequality. Fairer income distribution and more robust public programs will make it possible for people to pay for their rent, receive adequate mental and physical care, and obtain the education and vocational training needed to thrive in the modern workplace. We need to attack our housing crisis head on and systematically. Because it's not just about getting New Yorkers off the street and into a home, but also giving them the care, help, and support they need to achieve and sustain their economic independence.